you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures TV. for a crime that I did not commit. Where did I go wrong? Do I deserve this, Isabella? Do I? No. It's okay. Sorry. What time is it? It's almost 12 o'clock. Take me outside now. What? Take me to the back of the house now. God of vengeance, look at me, look at my tears, look at my wounds, I stand naked before you today, I have not done anything to earn such suffering and punishment from my sister Sandra, if I have done anything wrong, to earn such ill treatment from her. Deal with me worse things than this. But if I have not done anything to her, and she feels she can treat me this way, oh God, pay her back in her own court. God of vengeance. God of the forsaken. God of the orphan, fight for me. 
with your striking thunder and lightning. Visit her and pay her back in her own coin. Fight for me. I stand before the moon, the stars, and all the elements of the universe. Bear witness to my nakedness today, to my wounds, to my tears, and fight for me, fight for me. <laughs> Fight for me, God of Vengeance! <laughs> Fight for me! <laughs> There's something I want to tell you. Can I trust you? Yes, Auntie. I have heard your cries and your suffering. I will help you. As soon as we leave this place, I will take you as my own sister and I will take care of you. Auntie. Yes. I am not who you think that I am. That's all I am going to tell you for now. But I want you to make up your mind for us to live here in one piece. I don't want anything to happen to you. And you have to be very careful. You've seen the way they've been torturing me day and night. And it's not as if you are safe either. Because as soon as they get tired of me, they would face you too. And I know that is not what you want for yourself. So please... Do what I tell you to do, and we are safe. Okay? Okay. Ah, Antiku! Yeah. How is she? Small madam, how are you today? Fine, no. You can see. Okay. I'll sit down. Mm, thank you. Can I assist you? Um, don't worry, I'm almost done. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. No. Mm. Please, what is the name of this area, this place? Why do you ask? Mm. Nothing. Just being curious. Mm. Well, I'd rather you keep your curiosity to yourself. Mm? The walls have ears. Mm. No, I'm, I just want to know. Uh, how can someone be staying in a place that he doesn't even know the name? Okay, what if someone asks me now, what is the name of the place I'm staying? What would I tell the person? No, listen, Isabella. If you're thinking of escaping from this place, forget it. It's a pipe dream unless you want to die. The whole of this place has security network. And my boss is aware of everything that goes on here. He sees everything from his security room. So if you're thinking of leaving, I'm sorry, you better forget it. Okay? I don't mean anything, I just want to know. That's all. I hope so too. Auntie. Auntie. Auntie, it's a pipe dream. It's a pipe dream. Nobody's interested in telling me anything. The cook, the gas. Even the gates, ma. And so let's just give up this idea of living here. It can't work. It won't work. It's not possible. There must be a way. We can't stay here forever. There must surely be a way out. Hey. Good day, madam. Uh -huh. Good day, my sister. Ah, how are you? I'm fine, madam. And I hope you're having a nice day. Ah, ah, 
My dear, it's the same old boring experience for an, for an old woman like me, you know. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm used to it. Anyway, I'm actually relieved to hear that. Um, I was actually making a um, melon soup and a bar. I hope you enjoy it. Ooh, wow. That's actually my favorite. All right. Okay, I shall take my leave now. Let me go finish up the cooking. It's like the boss is not in town. I've not heard from him for a couple of days now. Is he okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I'm being curious. But you know, he's the only one that comes around to keep me company, chats me up, tell me some stories here and there, you know. <laughs> it's just like I'm missing him. Eh? Eh. Anyway, um, never to worry. He's actually not in town at the moment. And we are not allowed to divert such information. Ah, sorry, eh? Sorry for the bother. I know, I know it's a risk, but at least it paid off. How do you mean? Don't worry, you will see. Don't just worry. <laughs> you shall see. <laughs> Isabella. Why have you been avoiding me, Isabella? Please let me go. Answer me first. What do you want from me? I want you, Isabella. And you know it. What? You heard me right. See, let me tell you. I will never have anything to do with you. Not in this world. Stop acting like a fool, Isabella. You know I can help you. I don't need your help. You don't need my help. Alright. That means you don't want to live. You want to die. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? <laughs> well, I, I wish it was. Now the ball is in your court. If you really want to live, have a nice day. It's not I don't know where I would have gone to if I hadn't seen you that day. You're a God sent to me. God sent? Yes. I hated my fate. My uncle and his wife. I mean, I hated everything in this world. What was in my mind was to commit suicide. Suicide? A small girl like you? What have you seen in this world that will make you think of suicide? How can that kind of thought come into your head? I know that I've not seen much, but the little I've seen is more than enough for me to commit suicide. Please, Isabel, don't you ever let that kind of thought come into your mind again. Oh my God! What is it? See, one of the assassins. Mm -hmm. What about him? He's been asking me out. And what was your response to him? I told him I'd right me. Never had anything to do with such an evil character. Hmm, that's good, but on a second thought, we can actually use him. What? Yes, we can use him. We can use him to get us out of this place.
how to go about it? No. Why not? You've been with him for some time now. I've not given him my body. My heart is so far, far, far away from him. I hate him. I hate him as I hate my uncle. I hate all men. Excuse me. Yes, DPO. I don't care how you guys take the instructions. But you guys should stop the investigation, period. An officer has a clue to, ass to, ass to arrest the assassins. I don't want to know. Stop him from going ahead with it. Mommy, I'm really shocked at your phone conversation with the policeman. How could you tell the policeman to stop your two sisters' investigation? And you feel I'm stupid enough not to have a good reason for doing that? And what good reason could make you tell them to stop your investigation? Listen, don't mind those people, eh? They've been saying that thing from day one. Don't mind it. Why don't you just allow them to do their work? My friend, will you keep quiet? Are you silly? Come on, master, come, come back here. Stop it together. Oh, Are you stupid? How dare you walk out on me? you have a choice. You should keep your woman dignity intact. For how long will I keep it ahead of in this place? Huh? I don't think to have a choice, but whichever way, you promise to help me and I trust you. You promise to send me to school and make my life better. And that is why I have to do this. To make sure I believe you are in good. So how are you sure he would fulfill his own part of the bargain? I will make him do it. Poor girl. Sandra, why? Why? Why do you want me dead? What have I done to you to deserve all this? What happened to the love and care we once shared as a family? Sandra. Hmm, Sandra, why? Ladies and gentlemen, I hope we're all enjoying ourselves. I'm sure we all know why we're here to celebrate her birthday. I want to use this opportunity to thank God for her life, for adding her additional year to her life. And also to tell her how much I love her. Sweetheart, I want to use this opportunity to tell you you're treasured. And to use my sweetheart. You've been a blessing to our family. I don't know what I would have done without you in our lives. I love you to the moon and back. Happy birthday. 
Thank you, sis. I would have loved to sing a better song, but I have a terrible voice. So I'm going to step aside for my lovely sister. She has a better voice, so over to you, guys. Before I sing a better song for my little sister here, I also want to tell her that um, since the day you came into our life, it's been nothing but bliss. And I love you, love you, love you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shirley. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you, Shirley? How old are you now? Yeah, tell us now. Yeah, tell us. <laughs> I'm 22 years today. I'm 22 years today. I'm 22 years today. I'm 22 years today. So it's time to cut the bed. Chop, chop. <laughs> Yeah. So, at the count of three, I'm going to cut the bread this case. So let's count together. One, One two, two, three! three. For she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow. I saw you.
how is your day? Hectic. Oh, I'm so tired. So what did you get for me? I bet me. Where is Shelly? I don't know. She said she was going out to sort for money for her school fees. Oh, okay. From her boyfriend. Hmm. Boyfriend? Which one? The one that disappointed her. She said she was going to look for that means to get it. What other means? I don't know. And you allowed her go? Uh -uh. Sister, what do you want me to do? What kind of embarrassment is that? When is she back? I don't know. She said she won't be long though. Mm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. and before the end of the month, I give her another amount. At least, let her just go to school. Wow. Mm. I'm so happy. Thank you, sister. Thank you. <laughs> I beg, I'm hungry. What did you cook? I made rice. Okay. But there was not enough money, so I had to buy eggs and put it there. So you could not even buy fish. You didn't give me money. Rosie. Oh. Yes, I can. Okay, I can. And sister, mm -hmm. thank you for the money you gave me. Come on, what are sisters for? <laughs> See, um, the only thing I want from me is for you to face your studies. Mm -hmm. I will. I'm serious. I will. You know this is your final exams. Hmm? Are you promising me that? I promise. I'm not drinking here. <laughs> All right, then. Are you done packing? Just from. I'm to zip up and I'm ready to go. I've been feeling feverish for quite some time now. Oh my, have you taken any form of medications? I... Why? You see a doctor. Or better still, take some drugs. Sister, I have something to tell you. Okay. I... I think I'm pregnant. What? I'm sorry. Does he know? John, of course, your boyfriend. John is not the one responsible. Was there someone else? I ran into my friend, an old friend, a couple of days. Jesus Christ, Shelley! How could you act like a common prostitute? Sister, the fact is that John and I have been having issues, and I met someone else. Even her dad? That's degrading. Jesus wept. Oh my God, Shelly! I don't want to use the word disappointed, mm -hmm. but I'm extremely disappointed in Shelly. How could she get pregnant? For some, for, for a guy who doesn't even know. If you have a boyfriend, I will understand. You know what? I think we should get rid of that pregnancy. Yes, you're right. You're very correct. She has to remove it. Mm -hmm. There's no two ways about it. True. But, ah, sister, mm -hmm. remember we're Christians. Oh, so please spare me. Leave Christianity out of this. Ah. Eh, but, how do we go about it? Eh, I'll, I'll talk to a doctor. You should tell us what to do. Ah, hope he's not a quack doctor. Trust me now. I bet she's my sister. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, fine. 
So now what's the first step? What do we do? See a doctor first. We'll ask him what to do. Probably maybe she wouldn't eat or something. All those things. Me, I don't know. But we shall see a doctor first. Sister, you know Shelly. You know how Shelly is. Don't worry. You know how she is. We'll force her she in any know. which way. We'll get her to that hospital. When she I was said there, she didn't know. know. For someone we don't even know. That's the annoying part. Can you imagine? I'm so pissed. Can you imagine? She says she wants to keep it. How? Imagine. Where? In whose house? Hmm. My house. It's not possible. Okay. After everything I've done for her. No, no, she's very, very, oh, no, 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 she annoyed me. What is it again, Shelley? There is nowhere to be seen. And who is Jerry? Jerry is the one that won't You see your life? You see what you've done to yourself? How could you be so reckless? You don't even know this guy from Adam! Sister, we are close friends. See where the closeness has landed you now? Hmm? There's always a solution to every problem, you know that, right? Hmm? Stop crying. So, um, where did you say the guy traveled to? South Africa. For a business trip or For a business trip or what? No, that's the sister. I don't know. He doesn't tell me anything about his business. Like he's into bad business, bad trade. Then let's forget about him and plan your life. Did you tell that guy anything about your pregnancy as is his friend? He's not close to the guy. Oh, okay, good. So, um, the first thing you have to do is get rid of your pregnancy. And, um... Sister. I can't. Why? Because I can't. I can't. What does that to do? You get rid of your pregnancy, try and reconcile with John, and then you start a wedding preparation. Sister, I don't want to have anything to do with John again, and I can't terminate this pregnancy. Why? Because I can't kill an innocent child. Under this circumstance, my dear, you don't have an option. You're a banker, and you know their policy. Sister, mm -hmm. I just finished talking to the um, doctor and he said I should ask her to see him tomorrow okay, without good. breakfast. Good, good. Who? Settle. You didn't tell her? I just did. So, you two have concluded to terminate the baby in my room without knowing my position first. <laughs> what position are you talking about? You better get rid of that in your tummy. Ha! And, and get on with your life. And I won't. I don't want to. Excuse me. Come back here. See this game. Can you imagine? It's all right. Who tries to help so? Oh, Sister, you too. I'm going to give you the room. What is your problem? Sister, please leave me alone. I will do no such thing. Until you tell me how you're going to raise a child out of wedlock. This has never happened in the Benson's family before, and it's not going to start with you. I won't terminate this pregnancy because of you and the family ego. What's your problem? You are my problem. You are always selfish. Can't you think of anybody else for a change? It's you I should be asking that question. What actually is your take on this issue? My take on this issue is with you, little sister. Okay? Because you are not going to bring disgrace into this family. Because if you do it, I will personally give you help. Sister, please leave me alone. Please. You better stop shedding that crocodile tears of yours, you shameless pig. What? You guys stop it! Stop it now! I will not stop it. Until I'm done with her.
Shelly, you're not dressed. Am I not talking to you? My friend, will you get up and get dressed? We have an appointment with the doctor. Sister, please leave me alone now. Leave me alone. Shelly! Sister, if I go to the hospital with you for this abortion, you guys will carry my cops on your head. Meaning what? Meaning I won't survive it. Sister, what's going on? Why is she still lying now? Just let her be. Sister, I don't understand what you're saying. Do you want me to tie her up? I can't I can drive her to the hospital. What do you want? Rose, just leave her alone, please. You heard her. She said, let me be. You guys should let me be, especially you. I don't understand what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. What's going on? Just let her be. Leave her alone. Ah. I don't understand what you're trying to say. The both of you should leave me alone. That is what she's trying to say. You should leave me alone. Sister, just let her be, please. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I miss you too. What's that? <laughs> hey, I'm hungry. Um, yes, I agree. I, I know. So are we eating out? Are you serious? Hey, so what am I coming? Seven? Okay, cool. Oh, you know what? Let me call you back. Hi. Hey, what's this? You left the baby? No, she's with the nanny. Oh, okay. So, um, who was that guy that dropped you off? Why don't you want him to come in or you don't want me to meet him? Mm, what man? Your new boyfriend, of course. I've seen him drop you at the gate at three different occasions. Oh, he's a nobody. He's just a friend. A friend? Come on, Shelly. I don't want him to know about me or the baby. Why? Though, he has been pestering me. But I'm done with men. You can't be done with men. All men are not the same. To me, all men are the same. They are one hell of a mistake I will never make again in my life. Come on, Shelly. You're so wrong. Sister, please. Please. <sighs> it's all right, eh? All this nightmare will soon be over. It's all my fault. I should have stopped you. It's okay. It's not your fault. You never wanted me to go. <laughs> you have already promised to help us. Really? You were ready to help us escape. Really? Yes. But do you think he can be trusted? I think so. It's I okay. think so. It's alright. Stop crying. Stop crying. 